Then we're gonna play Flash. Yeah, the Flash deck is cool. I was watching, um... Yeah, I think Chupacabra's... I mean, Chain Whirler's insane. Like... The, the overall, the best deck that I've been playing is... is the, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the Mono White 3-drop. I was gonna play that today, but I didn't get enough pull... I didn't get enough votes for it on my Twitter. But... Um, I think that, I think Chupacabra is pretty good right now. I think you, I think you could build, like, either a snake deck or something. Well, you can't build a snake deck, because I think the control deck's actually very good. Yeah, well, that's, that's the problem. And that's why I ultimately think that, like, I don't know, this is the deck that I've been, this is the mono red deck I've been playing. And this, this has been my my favorite deck to play is this one here if it'll load moto might tweak out on me <coughs> yes I agree um yeah so this is what I've been playing recently I'm not sold on four glory bringers. I might want something different. Like, I feel like two of them might be good. But I think this deck is really good. Um, I might want a third of Braid for, like, maybe an on crop crasher because of the blue white flash deck getting a little better to be able to kill that guy. Or maybe cutting a firebrand. But I think that I started winning quite a bit more against the control decks when I started adding this to my sideboard. And I just, like, went up to four Chandra's. And, like, the four Chandras gives me a lot more game against controlled X. If I was playing the PTQ today, this is what I would play. But I cannot play the PTQ today. Too much going on. <clears throat> but I think... All right. Um... Yeah, we got Mulligan this. This is why I want one more Black Source in this deck, I think. This hand's okay. We are not gonna keep, gonna ship anything that's not a land. We're gonna put a land on top. We're gonna hope that, this is kind of, the one of the awkward parts about this deck is if you, like you definitely need to play 26 or 27 lands in this deck because it feels so bad if you have to, um, because like oftentimes you just have to ditch all of your spells with Champion of Witch to just draw lands. Then hope your champion trades or something. Knight of Grace, first strike. Okay, so I should be able to get some kind of value out of this thing here. I kind of just want to hold the Champion of Witch. If my opponent tries to attack with this, cast down... Well, hang on. They're probably just going to play another creature. Yeah, they're just going to play another creature. So I'm actually just going to champion Wits. Because, like, it's me using my mana efficiently. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm actually going to ditch this. Well, I guess I can actually... I can actually just ditch both of these <clears throat> and bring the gear hulk back and cast down with the Liliana. <coughs> this deck's also like just a completely different deck when you have a uh, siphoner. If you have siphoner going, this deck's like much better. If you don't have siphoner going, these it can be a little underpowered in these matchups. Maybe I should ditch the land. Yeah, see, there's the Vanilla Marshal. So I'm just going to take this damage and trade here. Okay. This is a card that should do pretty well here. I don't think these white decks have many ways to answer the Scarab God in their main deck. <coughs> so now we're much more willing to trade off this Aetherborn because we're going to get it back and it's going to be big. I 
played this deck. Um, Bob's are rest. That's great. It's probably going to hit my Aetherborn. Which isn't super great, but... Okay, so that's going to target probably this Benelish Marshal. Okay. So I'm going to trade this off. I'm gonna just take the six here, and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna play this Liliana, tick down, get this Gear Hulk back, and cast down probably this because it flies. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit this with the Gear Hulk because it flies. And then the gear hole can threaten to trade off here with whatever it's doing, whatever's going on. And then they've got to send in quite a bit to kill this Liliana. Because <coughs> <coughs> you don't have access to Galadus yet. How has Arena been? Is the economy getting better? So now, for them to kill this, oh, this is, no, it's just sort of protection. Okay. So for them to kill this Liliana, they need to trade this Dauntless Bodyguard. <clears throat> they added a league structure. That's nice. Let's make a token. We're actually going to get to the city's blessing pretty quickly. Choops in the graveyard. That's exactly what we want. So now we're in good shape. Until, unless they kill, but even if they kill the Scarab God, we're in good shape. Like single cards, like from the store or from bots? Regions landing. That's gonna be kind of annoying. Okay, another Marshall. Purchase packs, not individual cards. Okay. So we're definitely going to put this Gear Hulk in front of this Benella Marshall. Where is this all going? It's all going to be. So let's put this Gear Hulk here. Put the champion here. Put this here. And put this here. We're gonna take five. We might be in a little bit of trouble still. I'm gonna try to use this scare of God in my upkeep to um, get the troops back to hit a land. We're just going to hit this Marshall. And now if we hit a land drop, we're going to strike everything. You to block the Knight with the Scarab God. I wanted to be able to start activating the Scarab God, though. Like, I wanted to have this line of play available to me. Because I want to bring the troops back and smoke this and then scry into a land. Yeah, so I think we do want this Gaunti, but we want this land first. But then we're gonna mill over the Gaunti because of this. So let's just make some more zombies. I think we're just gonna pass. There's five power, yeah. Yeah, this is what I, I really wanted to just be able to start Scarab Godding. Decks like this just can't be, and then, then like we'll get back to Vanilla Marshall, or we'll get back Gaunti, or Champion of Wits, then continue to work this Liliana.
Like, the game kind of feels over from here unless they hit, like, a Dawnbringer and we don't find one of our four contempts. If they hit a Dawnbringer, we could be in trouble. That's a really good draw. But we, I guess we have another Scare of God, so it's okay. Alright, so we're going to wait for them to attack. And then we'll probably just toss like a zombie in front of this. Toss this in front of here, this in front of here, and then kill this. I don't think they're going to attack with, every, with this Banala Marshal. You can't really do a half-ass attack opponent. Alright, yeah. Now we're just going to use our mana. Then we're going to play another Scarab God. <coughs> This is why I think Choops is I think Choops is really good in this format right now. I think this Chupacabra is like if I was building a black deck, I would play probably two and maybe three of these. Some of these a lot of these decks on Moto just play Dawnbringer because it's so good against the red decks that they just want it. They just want access to it, and some of them even main deck it because, like, while it can be awkward in some matchups, it gives you so many, so much like percentages against like Glorybringer decks or Flyer decks. Like, it's probably not right to do it, but some of them do. That's why in our mono red deck, I added two of these Fight with Fires. You just gotta kill the Dawnbringer on spot. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can actually play both of these. So let me bring back this Gaunty. I don't really want to bring back the Champion of Wits until I can do it for like a lot of power. <coughs> I wonder if I, I'm probably gonna start attacking with this Gear Hulk. I kind of just want to take a land just to start gaining, just to start continue to curve out. Because all these cards suck. Which maybe means I shouldn't have got the Gaunty back. Oh, the land doesn't work like that. Oh, you can't. Why do they give me the option to take a land then? Well, that's stupid. Oh, I don't even have enough mana to do this. That's why I wanted the land. Oh, man. Alright. Then I toss that one. I got confused because I was like, oh, if I... If I play, if I take this land, then I can cast Scarab God as well, but they don't let me take the land. Like, why do you give me the option to not let me take the land? But what are you gonna do? Okay, there's the Marshal. So I still don't really have good attacks. That's a good card for like next turn. Cause I'm probably gonna start attacking with the Gear Hulk. Tap appropriately. Like we're probably gonna get in with the Gear Hulk next turn and I can animate like their Vanilla, Vanillas Marshal to mess up attacks even more. Okay. History of Vanalia is pretty good here. This card's really good. I think we're just gonna draw. Their man is a little constrained. Oh, I do have that many zombies. Holy shakies. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I guess if I go. I just want all of these. Let's go put on top, put on top, put on top. I'm gonna mill over some of them, so that was actually a mistake. Yeah, that was actually a mistake. Okay, so I'm actually gonna attack with my Gear Hulk. Then Varaska's Contempt over some cards. 
I could just not use my Liliana. It's another thing about this deck is there's just a lot going on. We could just kill him with the Scry also. You know, like we could... One, two... Then we hit this and kill this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna like kill him with a, the Scry ability. I might not even use these Lilianas because I want all the cards on top of my deck. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just not even gonna use this card, and then we're gonna just removal spells until we until uh, the Scarab God kills him. Uh, but this is going to also mess all this up. Yeah, we're just going to let this happen. Because, like, we're going to get these two. If they want to pay the life, that's fine. We can just reanimate it. Yeah, well, this is all this is all still fine. Because now my Gear Hulk gets off the board. I can hit this with a removal spell. Roll my Gear Hulk down. I roll this. Three return target creature. Yes, yeah, so we hit that. I don't even think I'm going to use this. <coughs> There's just like not enough. My opponent's just not doing enough to like make anything really matter. So like while I have not played these this turn quite optimally, the fact that they, they like this card is just going to overpower them. Which like I should wake up. This is the first match of the day, first first game of the day. But it's gonna it's gonna take me a second. All right. So against all this, we want to just kind of declunk our deck a little bit. Uh, I don't think the commits are very good. The golden demises are great. Um, I want another push. I want a Gonti. I want everything that interacts with the board. Um, cards that aren't super great, like Charter Course is kind of medium. Liliana is kind of me. Well, Liliana did some serious work there, so maybe we'll look to keep it. Um, I know these charts are going. I need to cut two cards. I could I could shave a Gear Hulk in a in a Scarab. Oh no, I'm gonna shave a little Gear Hulk in a Liliana. Like while Liliana was very good, I don't see what other cards we want more. Though probably the Gear Hulk's better than a Veraska's Contempt. The contempts seem pretty medium in this matchup. I'm gonna just have one more Gear Hulk. I just have a lot of fours. Maybe I wanna cut one more of these. Well, the, the Gaunties looked kind of bad. The Gaunties are just more there to trade. So maybe we can go like this. I just kinda worked the same game we had. Liliana floods the board. Yeah, let's try this. Yep, we're gonna keep this hand. We've got a, we're gonna hopefully get a siphoner going. Probably not gonna get a siphoner going. Okay. The nice thing is that we have answers to the back side of this Legion's Landing, so like I'm not super worried about it flipping. This thing's gonna be pretty annoying because it's got hexproof from black. Hopefully they don't play anything here and I can start attacking with this. But they're probably gonna have something. Oh that's nice. I can I can attack through that. That's a good card. That's what I'm talking about with the mana base here. I think we want just one more colored source. drop we just need another black source 
We're probably gonna ditch this Aetherborn. Oh, that's not good. Um, Scarab God and Aetherborn are gonna go. <coughs> the nice thing is this is gonna flip, and then we're gonna have access to the Ixalan Binding. That's kind of gross. So how much is this? This is a lot of damage. So now we're probably gonna hold this Siphoner back after we draw a card. So I can go kill this. Probably this is hexproof for black, but I'm gonna be able to deal with this this turn. Our turn of that I can just go block, shoot, and just kind of let them make some white white, one one whites for a little while. I think that's what we're gonna do. Block this, hit this, take three. I think I've drawn my card off my siphoner. We just need to like live. To, uh, if we can reanimate this gifted Aetherborn, should be in good shape. <clears throat> Jeff Dunes, that's kind of annoying. They're going to activate it. Looks like they are. That's okay. We just take one more damage than we were going to. Like, we're basically just taking two damage on this turn. Which, considering like they, they use their whole turn to do that, that's all right. Our whole end game is just getting this gifted Aetherborn back into play. Now their board's pretty manageable. We just gotta make sure, hope they don't have a way. Oh, well now, no, that doesn't do anything because this is protection. I should have. I did that before damage, right? I didn't do it before first strike, though. So I, I just took an extra point of damage, I think, from this that I didn't have to. Okay. All right, so this is all fine. So I think we're just gonna upkeep back this gifted Aetherborn. Put a land on top. We just want anything that interacts with the board. And like the, we're gonna we're gonna take it's gonna take a little while to chew through these history of Benalias, but but I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to deal with both of these because these if they draw like a chef at dunes these in combination with like this thing is gonna be annoying. Yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna get tough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're just gonna start mowing through these. I do want to get rid of this. One, two, three. So I think I can actually. So these are gonna become four, three. I probably need to cast Varaska's Contempt this turn. One, two. So if I use this, so yeah, I can actually hit this and cast Varaska's Contempt. This is gonna give me another blue source. I can't go cast down in Varaska's Contempt, but. <clears throat> But I think we, I don't think we want any more of these coming into play. And this gives us a window to deal with it. And I can go like block this. I can just go block this, contempt this and like go to two and then start attacking with this thing next turn and reanimating more stuff on the, on the backswing. Can I actually just attack with this? The problem is they just go like double block here, but then I just contempt this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block here, hit this. Yeah, I think we're just going, we're getting in there. <coughs> I 
we're just going to start padding our life total. Hit with a 4-4 lifelinker is going to be pretty good. Then depending on what they do, we might just reanimate the Glint City Siphoner. So we're going to go here, block here, Contempt here, and take 5, and go to 6. That's our, that is our game plan. My opponent's got something like a... Now well, my opponent salted off a tad. All right, let's get the 4-1 here. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? I've been impressed with this deck. I didn't think this deck was gonna be like super good because the format's so aggressive. I think that you might want like a little bit more moment of craving kind of action in this deck. Like I don't think these duresses are very good. I'd rather just have things that impact the board. I'd rather have two like two moment of cravings, I think, because it helps with the Dantos Vanguard. But that's like a lot of cards against aggro decks. Maybe we would cut this for one moment of craving or something like that. Or another choops in the board. But I've been super happy with this deck. That's what I'm talking about. This deck needs one more black source, I think. Um, I'm going to keep this. Like, this can fix our mana. We have a fatal push. Aetherborn's... If we can get Aetherborn down, it's going to be good. Masty. We're just going to kill this because the game's going to go long and I really don't want this thing to... Because like Bomat, Bomat's like the secret guard that wins all these matchups. There was a deck in Modern that was playing Bomat that 5 owned a burn deck that cut like a little more of the direct damage stuff. Alright, that's good. I mean, they're probably going to have answers to this, but... We just want to curve out here to the Scarab God. We get kind of a... Like, we get a free attack. Like, we can just block the 2-1. We get chain ganged. But, like, such is life. Alright. We didn't get the option to get chain ganged. I'm actually going to play this land. Chart. Hopefully we find... We didn't find anything we wanted. We'll just ditch this field ruin. <coughs> Worried about Hazret. Like, Chandra in the main deck? Okay. I mean, that might be right for them to do. Playing a Kenra also. Okay. So we're just going to get the Scare of God in play. We might be in some trouble here. Because my opponent can play Hazret next turn. At least we have an answer to Hazret. Well, I guess I can actually go Contempt, Gear Hulk Contempt, if my opponent plays Hazret and get this Chandra off the board. Because, like, I'm not activating Scarab God next turn. Yeah, well, I think the whole plan is Contempt, Gear Hulk Contempt. And then turn the corner with the Hulk. I'm going to grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. Hazarded. But my opponent actually couldn't play Hazard and attack with it. So. Alright, Kenra's fine. I think I'm just going to go, like, block Kenra, 
um, contempt. Block Kenrag, contempt Karizev, because Kenra's a really good card to bring back with my Stare of God to just kind of end the game. And I, let's just pray to God they don't have another braid here. I should have definitely done this before combat if my game plan was to get rid of the Karizev. I just took two damage here that I didn't have to. Um, so hit here, hit here, go up, take five, go to five. Yeah, I'm still gonna hit this Karizev even though I, I, I messed up this ordering here. Like, I should have done this before combat, before the Kari's up got to attack, and I'd have two more life. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play a land. They got a uh, braid, it looks like, or a lightning strike. What are they doing? They're striking me. Two, four. Yeah, see? Oh, we're down to one. Okay. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I think we just play play the god and hope they don't hit a haste thing. Because if they do hit a haste thing, we can bring back our Aetherborn. Yeah, now we're dead. Yeah, and like we tossed that because we could have we could have easily had um we could have saved two life. Which would mean this hadn't been lethal, which we might not have still won the game, but we also could have gone into something. But yeah, that was my fault. I tossed that one. I just want to lower my curve. I don't want these Lilianas. Um, Supreme Will's probably alright because they're going to play a bigger game. I don't need. The Contempt's kind of cool to like get Hazard off the board, so maybe I want that. I don't want guarantee. Charter course is too slow. I could bring in another guarantee because it gets on the board. what I would cut yeah I think we're just gonna keep this I really don't want to get I don't want to get um I just want to like interact 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 play scary round on five that's the game plan all right we're gonna keep this hand we have siphoner siphoner to draw a card on turn two my dog is excited to see my wife this morning, so Philly's going nuts. Sounded like somebody was knocking on the door. Yield this. Then we're gonna start working the siphoner. The tubes should catch me up a little bit here. Everyone's having a good day. Good start. This is all. This is okay. I'm gonna draw a card. All right. So I think I'm gonna look to trade this siphoner off this turn. We've drawn a card. We have a counter spell, and then we can choops next turn to draw to clean something else up. Yep. Yes. Just gonna block here. Get this Bowman Courier off the battlefield. We're gonna put the shields down on like a hazard or something like that. We're just gonna counter anything. Alright, well now we can deal with a hazard. Alright, so now we're on the battlefield at least. Let's 
Chandra. No, it's a Hazard. Okay. Hazard the Fervin. Now I probably can't cycle my land. Which is unfortunate. Must not have a lot going on, or it's just a lot of lands. We need action. Scarab God. We need a Scarab God right here. Because this Kenra is going to come back and make it so this can't block. I definitely could do something like block Hazret at some point and bounce the Chupacabra back to my hand. Yeah, this has been unfortunate. Yeah, I think the game plan is going to be like to bring this Chups back with this commit memory and try to hit something else. Because if they just bring this Kari Zev back, yeah, this is fine. So this can't block. I guess there's no need, or I can just commit this. All right, I need something, jeez. So what I could do is I could just memory, because that means this hazard's never attacking. Yeah, I think we just need to memory. I just don't have anything going on. And then this is going to fill my opponent's hand up, but then their hazard's going to be turned off. And then we now we get some interaction. And we drew a Scarab God, so. It's kind of a Hail Mary. But what are you going to do? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Where's There's actually a Paradoxal Outcome deck, Barbie. I played against it once or twice. Crasher, okay. Give me something to point this fatal push at. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna kill this, like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're going to leave this in our hand. I'm going to get the Scarab Dad out. Then play this Siphoner. Look to trade this Choop off. So he deals two to us. The problem is that Hazard has so much inevitability. put me to one looks like what's going on here making it so probably the troops can't block Ugh. has with so much inevitability so now I need a contempt in a bad way but at least we get two shots at it That's what we needed. We're gonna hold back. The Choops isn't enough of a clock on its own. We can play, we can reanimate Bomat Courier next turn and now start, then start getting in there. 
I can actually one, two, three, four. I can just start double reanimating, which is probably what I want to do. I just want to get as many things on the board as possible. Oh, there's another Azeroth. Get this Bomad back, because it's going to give me more looks at a Contempt. You're playing a total rotation? Nice. I shouldn't always leave yield that, that's wrong. We don't want this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I gotta just attack with the bow mat. Get a card under it, and then cycle and hope to hit a contempt or this hazard's gonna kill us. I thought this deck is this red deck is just so good because the, because this card is so good. I actually hang on. I can actually hold priority here. Sack this. Shoot this on crop. Oh, just discarding it's part of the cost. Okay. I don't want discard then do it. Nope. All right. They got us. They got us. So I think you. I think this deck wants a couple more moment of cravings in the sideboard, because the aggressive decks are like everywhere, and if you can just survive, this deck has like some serious. Just very good inevitability. Like, I was running over control decks earlier. Like, it just you have so much value that it's tough to keep up with. So.